students as we are in totally different situation which is new for you as well as for me the government and our department want to support you and don't want any interruption in your education so we are going to start our classes through online from today and for you third years i will be taking the class the subject field geology and the code is 7bgee1a and we have to maintain the rep record of attendance and for such a thing what i am planning is i will be asking few questions on the course of the video and you have to answer it with the answer you have to mention your name as well as your register number so that we can keep it as a record for our attendance so let's start the class with a formal introduction let, let me introduce myself myself b panchanatham i did my bsc in this department in the year 2004 to 7 and after that i did my pg in maharaja said of university of baroda that is in vadodara in the year 2009 i completed it and after that immediately i got a job in gmrds as field geologist that is gujarat mineral research and development society i worked there for 2 years and after that i skipped my job and came here and i joined this same department in the year 2012 and uh, from that day i'm just continuing here as teaching faculty so let introduce yourself in the comment section with your name get into today's class and my topic is field geology and the subject code is 7 bg e e 1 a and today's topic is that the methods of representation of topography on a map and the main objective of this topic is to understand the evolution of the maps and also to find the application of maps in various field of geology so these are the two main objectives of this heading and let us get into the topic so first of all you should know the meaning of the topic so what is topography the topography is a greek word in which topo means place and graphy means right and a topographic map is one that shows the size shape and distribution of features of the earth surface so what are all present on a location say a hill a valley or a flat land anything that has to be represented in a plain sheet of paper without any distortion to the size shape and distribution okay that is what they want to say and before entering into the maps let us get into the history of geological maps so is mr william smith a geologist he is published a geological map of england in 1815 and that is considered to be the greatest work of all time even before him there were so many maps which has been published but the main difference is he had almost worked 24 years and uh, created a map which shows a proper boundary between different rock units so before that there may be some geological maps in which they had simply mentioned some rock types at scattered points like at some point they show sandstone at some other point they may show some other rock type like that but he that was mr william smith had worked a lot and put a lot of effort to fix the boundary between the different formations not only that he worked in coal canals for almost 6 years to prepare succession that is you he is the first one who had prepared the cross section of rocks and after finally after 24 years of continuous observation he published his colored geological map of england which is considered to be one of the greatest classy of geology so he had published almost 200 years before and still it is considered as one of the classy work so just think how hard he had worked and the main thing what they found is you know james hutton was the father of geology and he had prepared many of the principles of geology he had proposed many of the principles of geology but until that day it was just uh, like geography or something that is that may not have much practical applications but after the publication of this geological map and also he had proved that the geological map can be used to solve many of the engineering problems like construction site or site selection for dam or any such a thing we can use geological map to solve the problems that is was the first direct application of geological map and not only that he also predict the rock type as well as the thickness of the rock 
wherever they had drilled the look like they are if they are gonna do some trench at some location with this map he just proposed that at this site at this depth there is there will be this kind of rock like that he had proposed and it was proven so from that many of the things had come to know the geology importance of geology and the practical application of the geology from the study of this map many new avenues for the application of geology had happened and he and due to his work there is a large large number of n number of growth in the field of geology and this is the map which he had prepared and published in the year 1815 so let us get into the topic what is a map so a map of any part of the earth surface is its representation made to certain scale on a plain sheet of paper so you can call anything as a map if it shows any portion of the earth surface not only that it it should also include scale with this if these two criteria comes together then we call it as map it should show a place in the earth surface as well it should have some scale so there will be next question what is a scale so the scale is the ratio of the distance between any two point on the map to the distance between the same point on the ground surface let us take some example like if you are holding a map of uh, some location say your street map or anything there may be two different buildings at the line and if you measure the distance it may show somewhat near 2 to 3 cm or like that and if the actual distance is say 50 m or something then the scale is equal to 2 cm is to 50 m and that is the ratio and that is called the scale and there are two types of scale the first is large scale map which shows smaller area in more detail that is enlarging of a small area that is called a large scale map and a small scale map is one that shows a large area in small space let us take an example if you take india map and tamil nadu map the tamil nadu map will comes under the large scale map and the india map will comes under the small scale map likewise it is i think this is sufficient for today because it is almost uh, 30 minutes from the beginning of the class and there is a question for you for the next day's class and the question is that what can be the possible way to represent any 3d object in a 2d plane sheet so this is the question after getting your answer on next day's class i will continue with the next heading that is the evolution of map